Let's Play. Uh, my name is Fergie K, and this is obviously a live stream, so it's going to be a little awkward. I'm uh, going to load up my YouTube channel right now so that I can see whether or not I can see what's going on. I also look white as a ghost, which is amazing. Maybe if I, if I do like the thug hoodie. No, no, that doesn't do it. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I am going, what, what am I doing here? I'm going to my creator studio and look at me. Oh, I have 550 subscribers. I didn't even notice. Guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. Hey, yo. Let's play back to the future. Stream is good. Everything looks good. I'm gonna open that chat in a new window so that I can see what you pretty faces are uh, are saying here. Uh, I wanna make sure that I can see all of you. So clearly, we are not, we're not playing Fallout, we're not playing, uh, what else have I done a live stream? Fallout, uh, I, I, have I done Overwatch? Not entirely sure, but anyway, we're not playing any of those. We are playing a point-and-click adventure, Back to the Future, the game by Telltale Games. And, uh, this is the 30th anniversary edition, and, uh, I am, uh, Super excited. It's good to see you, Bill Lang. I don't know if you're actually still watching, but uh, yeah, from what I understand, this is an amazing game, and I'm be I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. So, um, uh, Bill, how is the sound since you're, uh, say, yay! All right, so how's the sound since you're in here? I've got my mic right here that looks like it's got a little condom on it, which is great, um, and my headphones. A wireless, but uh, I found that my old mic, uh, the mic that attaches to my headphones, is, is kind of crap. So I got my my good mic. It's kind of balanced on my bed. Sounds great. All right, then let's get started, shall we? So excited! All right. <laughs> All right. So obviously, we want to start from the beginning. Right? Yeah. It's about time. Out of time. Ayo. Oh, the music. Okay. So, new game. Before we begin, would you like to see notification when Marty has a new goal? I mean, uh, sure. I don't care. <laughs> Just give me a game. Hey, cat. Stop eating my plants. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, ah! 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einie. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. Yes, I need. Go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. So That's excited. it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Okay, we all know what happens here. You got here. that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Jesus, Not Einstein's me. probably like, woof, 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 woof. Okay, car. Is that J.C. Penny in the background? <laughs> if my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Yeah, he said it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Watch this, watch this. And this... <laughs> what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! 
the temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds. Doc, who the heck was that? Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both heights tied to the core are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Kind of a DeLorean? <laughs> well, I see it. If you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal. Look out! JP Penny. <laughs> oh. Wait, no. Uh, Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Uh, that's... where's the car, Doc? What? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuit. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. What happened to Einstein? Okay, so get Doc's notebook. Good, good to know. Notebook, notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals high time. This isn't... Something's this way, the way off I... here. Yeah. Dude, I've seen this movie, like, a gajillion times. Uh, Doc? Whoop. Whoop. Great Scott! You're disappearing, Doc. Doc. What is it? I've made a horrible mistake. Whoop. Doc! Doc! No. Whoop. I'm sorry, Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! What is going on? Doc! <laughs> ah, nightmare. Okay. Marty, <sighs> is everything okay? Weird science! <sighs> yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Aww. Yay! Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. What a shock. Okay, so I have to say, the kid who's voicing Marty McFly is freaking awesome. I know it's definitely not, it's not Michael J. Fox. I can tell. But he's awesome. Um... He's got it nailed. And the music! Oh, the music is so good! Ah, oh, be still, my heart, John Williams. This makes me so happy. So, Doc is still... Then, Alright, so if you haven't seen the movies, which fix that immediately, but uh, Doc is still in the... Well, actually, he's still in a time-traveling train. <laughs> Who knows where he is, but he's married and has kids, and... Yeah, so I guess, what, he left his estate to Marty? I'm guessing? Maybe? I don't know. But this is so cool! Estates... Okay, maybe he didn't leave his estate. Okay. 
May 14th, 1986. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Nope. Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset. Well, but your friend's been gone for months. Did you and Google the city that, Bill? really you seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And, hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Oh, my God. Hi, Biff. <laughs> Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure. Nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. See, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why wouldn't, uh, we, oh yeah, it is eight months later. Yeah, you're right. You did math. I did not do math. I don't do math. I'm too, I'm too awestruck by what's going on here. So it sounds like they have some of the original voice actors and s s some not the original voice actors, which is totally cool. I don't give a shit. This is already amazing. The music's amazing. The, the acting's amazing. Animation's a little lackluster on the voice on the lip syncing, but otherwise I don't give a shit. It's Back to the Future. So excited! All right, so select items around the lab to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. Oh, please tell me we can fuck with Biff and the speakers. I really won't do that. Um, let's see, Einstein's ball. I miss Einstein. I don't think television's dangerous. Fish tank. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste in decor. I kind of uh. like Doc. Alright, so can I... I can... Ah, whoa, what did I do? Alright, it's been months since anyone has heard from Doc Brown. Despite Marty's protest, the city has moved forward with the state proceedings and is auctioning off his belongings. Troubled by his nightmares, Marty begins searching Doc's abandoned lab for dangerous items. So it is May 14th, 1986. I am two years old <laughs> at this point. <laughs> okay, so L3... Okay, okay, that's great. Um, is this the goal system? Is that just gonna, is that gonna sit there the whole time? Because if it is, I'm probably in turn. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? Yup. <laughs> oh, that was really sweet. Um. Hey, oh, yeah, the big speaker. Uh, who's running this Who's sale? running this sale, anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! Oh, boy. All right, yeah, I'm definitely... I'm definitely gonna turn off goals, because that's too much of a hint for me and i i don't i don't want my yeah um maybe i yeah i'm gonna turn it off because i that's too that's too hand holding for me so uh, anyway let's i'm back telling to you this sale is a joke doc's only been gone for a few months and i happen to know yes you've told us he's not dead he's on a trip let's say you're right have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary i hate to say it but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. What? You got Doc wrong. <laughs> sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. No. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Yeah, speaking speaking of which, What's what Biff the fuck is here? Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. We shall see, Bill. We shall see. Uh, I... Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just... <laughs> Weird Just stuff. Stuff. Yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? 
I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. Apparently Overwatch is installed, so yay. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. All right, so... Uh, eh? Is this how I did it? No, not how I did it. This is how I did it. How did I... No. Is this how... Uh... No, I don't want that either. I can't see what's underneath. How do I turn it off? He's dead. No, no, no. Don't want to talk I'll to you again. I'll keep looking around. Go Thanks, away. Dad. Dang, the old LucasArts point and click if you have... Yes! I love both Grim Fandango and Monkey Island. So, hit pause. Haha! -ha! Excellent. Settings. Uh, hint level uh, off. Subtitles on. Pop-up text. Thinking that's what that is. So, we're going to turn those off. Um, turn that music down just a little. Turn the effects up just a little bit. All right. Resume. All right. So I know I'm supposed... What? I turned that shit off. It took off. me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time. And now some jerk's going to pick it up for pennies. All right. It took me forever to repair I this thing after I blew that. it out last time. And now some jerk's going to pick it up for pennies. I guess there's no way to skip text. Let's make some noise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there's no guitar. So, all right, I'll look at this. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. I hate you. Know, you him. and my folks go way back. Yeah? So? So how about letting me have that model courthouse uh, for old time's sake? Eh, I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none oh. of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> I thought Biff was a puss bag now. Like, what? Uh... Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Oh, man. Okay. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. Uh, you got it, Mr. McFly. Okay. Hey, Biff. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Oh, well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. I really hate you. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Okay, when did Biff get a backbone? Like, you would think... Marty McFly be able to be like, yo, Biff, give me the shit. It's over and done with. But no, apparently not. All right, fine. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Yes. Yes. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. You are a giant you for dick. It. How much? Uh, Not enough. Oh my god. Uh, never mind. What's this? Ah. Oh, there's the guitar. I was wondering where the guitar was. I must have had to turn hey, up Dad, the thing. Why does my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. 
Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. Okay, great. We're gonna use the guitar. Let's make some Here's noise. an oldie, but a goodie. A one, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Let me show you how it's done. Now, Biff. I think that's Marty's guitar. Uh, oh, uh, gosh. Uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. <laughs> Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Okay, so I gotta get Dad, hey, Dad. to go away. Uh... About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Alright, good. Back the fuck up. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Let me blow Biff away. That's, that's what I want to do. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. <laughs> now watch me blow the yes. lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Rock on, Biff. Booyah! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! I will be yoinking this. Peace. Ah, Doc. Where are you? The DeLorean. Do -do -do -do. Trophy earned. Doc's legacy. Doc? What is going on? <laughs> yep, cold. Come from, boy. Didn't you bring Doc with you? What's up, buddy? Huh. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here, so we got a tape player. Let's. Recording that the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Woohoo! Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or, or forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last Time Departed. Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Well, there's a shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. No. Definitely not. So let's keep it! Why Why the hell not? Uh, I want to look at that shoe, though. Oh, no, that was, that was the wrong thing. Alright, mysterious shoe. 
Uh, highlight the photo of George and fly and press the square button to examine it more closely. Oh, it's just teaching me. I keep me. this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. Like me! Alright, so This time-traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. So that's it? Okay. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. Okay. Uh, Einstein, buddy. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? That's... That's great. Uh, Alright, we have a shoe. Can you be a what sniffer do you dog? Know about this shoe, Einie? Yes, you can! Great <laughs> Scott! I think he's onto something. Great Scott! Oh, poor terrible gigawatts! I know, you hate it when I do this. My cat is like, what the hell's wrong with you? I became a spa skateboarder because of Marty McFly. Okay, Just, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einie? Um. Strickland? What? No way. Step away from the door. Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. Ooh. I hear the word scat and I don't... Uh, there are two things I think of and neither one of them are running away. One of them is musically inclined and the other one is... Gross. Moving on. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Okay. State your business, child. You're making me miss Merv. Who's well, Merv? See, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? Uh, State your business, child. Oh, God, child. no, no. I didn't mean to do that. Making me miss How do I skip Merv. things? Well, see that... I'm not sure why I'm here. Skip. Einstein here brought me, and... Uh, well? I can't skip. E. Strickland? You aren't related to, uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Uh, yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Slacker? Uh, got Can something you let for me you. in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. To 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 shoe. I have your. Sh I think I have your shoe. A shoe? Wow! Now what would I want with a? Huh? <gasps> Stay there. Le gasp. Hey! She's got the old one! <laughs> I don't know, lady! Just keep walking! <laughs> this random lady's like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, I don't Leave fucking know. That creature outside! Sorry, Sorry I... Einstein. Yeah. Hello, creepy lady? Well, took you long enough. Like a villain. <laughs> um, uh, there's a lot of stairs. To return <laughs> the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Uh, mm, much better. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. For oh, a shoe? I... All I've got is tea and candy. But I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. 
I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, Have a seat, Sonny. She never turned on the tea. Hey! You kids! Put out those cigarettes! Oh, my lord. Don't touch those! Okay? My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. <laughs> He's like, fucking j- What are you talking about, lady? Uh... Okay. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Miss Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Miss Pretty Whiskers. Okay. Man, she keeps it hot in here. the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Hey! And don't touch anything. Yeah, I'm gonna touch everything while you're gone. Like, everything. Like, specifically these papers. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Hey! Keep looking! Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. Try again. Keep I don't know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a okay. year at least. So we have to figure out when Homegirl lost her shoe. Hey. I can't leave now. No. Miss Strickland's my only hope of finding Doc. That's not what I meant to say. I want to talk to her. The polite guest stays out of the host's kitchen, Mr. McFly. Okay. When did you lose your shoe? Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? Okay, yeah, I gotta ask her, but where the hell is she? Where is this cat? Yeah, oh, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Okay, good. I'm gonna, I need to talk to you, lady. Need to talk to you. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! <laughs> A little yes. ditty about Jack and Diane. Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe. Hi, <laughs> what a nosy Nelly. No one likes a busybody, you know. Like you? But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. This lady needs to talk faster. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. Hey, you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I no, I'm just no, curious, no. that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt 
Annie. I thought she was yeah, gonna say Aunt. Oh, she said Aunt Fanny. Hooligans <laughs> and slackers could give two ripe things about history, Miss Strickland. Oh, video <laughs> store. Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. Oh, Lord. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. So... What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. Yeah! If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Okay. I see you stargazing? No, oh, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Chip Tannen! Get away from that hubcap before I call your father! Biff, Tiff, ah! Don't let me keep you from your business. You there! Don't even think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground! Oh my god. She literally just sits at her window and is a bitch. Okay, well, let's make the kettle thing happen again. Oh, and I laughed about the, the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. So I laughed about the fanny thing because in uh, the United States, fanny means bottom, but in the UK, fanny means vagina. Yeah, so never go to the UK and call it a fanny pack. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Oh, man. Do I have to keep fucking talking to her? I don't want to talk to this bitch anymore. Oh, you have candy? She has candy. That's what you get with these cheap, foreign-made kettles. But trying to find an American one nowadays. Okay. Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Okay, I guess I have to freaking talk to her again. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. What do you want? So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Uh, oh, oh, okay, all right. Don't let me what... keep you from your business. I know what I need to do. I need to kick her out, use the binoculars. All right, hang on. Go do the whistle thing. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Yeah, totally, I'm sure it is. Absolutely. Totally what's happening. I'm gonna use your binoculars. Choo, choo, hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't have to kick her out. Tell me he's got a triple X video. Yeah, it's wrapped in brown packaging. It's a triple X video. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. But, um... Ah, oh, Lord. Let's kick her out again! There's Go away, whistle. old lady! Surely the water's boiling Tell by now! Tell her, Benson. Tell her. Go away, creepy old lady. He's like, let me go. Oh my god. Ow. You got me with your claws. No. All right. Let's see. Ground broken on site of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. 
Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? Carl Sagan? Sagan. It's Doc! Ah! Who the mob? What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. June 14th, 1931. Oh, no. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... Ah! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take hey, to Kayla. fix what you've done? Oh, get out, get out, get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Oh, my God. Bye, lady. Marty! Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh... Well, it's May, so that probably won't... Uh, it's God, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um... Uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. Get it? Go out on a limb? I know I was going. <laughs> uh, go out on a limb for the ones you love, like freaking peeping Tom in the inside? window. Ah! This game and its references. All right. Time circuits, on. Flux Hell capacitor, yeah. uh, fluxy. <laughs> All right. uh, uh. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Oh, you see, I, w I would have showed up June, like, 10th. <laughs> I would have been like, give me a few days to figure this shit out. Oh, Marty. Eat eat my sprout, let's do this! Yes! Go! I bet you he's Biff Tannen's grandfather or something. Ah! Good. <laughs> Cops like. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! The car of the future, which is us. Ah. That was awesome. Back in time! Woo! Run, Einie, run! Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? So cool. Oh! 
get hit by the 19 mile an hour car. That's the same freaking lady! That was the same lady. <laughs> that looked at us earlier like, what the fuck's going on? Young man! Excuse me, young man! Uh, Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... Uh... uh you can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Uh... No. No, no not really. That's the spirit! Destroy them with indifference! If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll soon be exposed for the pathetic wretches they are! May I get your name? Yeah, it's... It's... Ooh! Uh, hmm. Which name do I want to go with for the entire game? Because that's what's going to happen here. Sonny Crockett, Harry Callahan, or Michael Corleone? I'm going to go with Harry Callahan. Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Oh. Okay. I figured it I know. was her. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before! What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times! It's the law! Look it up! Doc! I gotta find Doc! Okay! So, I think... To, to recap here, Doc is trapped in the past. He burned down a speakeasy. He's named Carl Sagan, which is great. Um, but this game is awesome! I'm so excited! <laughs> this game is I'm just awesome. I know I wasn't talking a lot. I was trying to, but this game's awesome! So excited. But this is a good place for me to leave it. I'm, I'm super excited. I think I've been... How long have I been live streaming? Yeah, for 40 minutes. So this is a great place to leave it. So uh, without any further ado, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my other videos because um, they're all right. I do have um, a uh, episode three of The Last Door is probably going to go up tomorrow. I do have it uh, done and edited, but my camera was wonky, so that video is going to be weird. Um, and I am going to be uh, recording another episode of Broken Age today. So, yay! Um, because I, I uh, forgot to record it the last time. Um, let's see. So... Uh, each chapter is about two hours long, according to my friend Bill, who's also watching. And, uh, so yeah, so we did the first hour, so I probably got another hour to go. Uh, so yeah, this is episode one! I'm so excited! I can't wait to play more of this game! Um, I'm pr I, ah, it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be a live stream. I, I wish I could do it not live streamed, um, but I don't want to have to edit it. So I'm just gonna live stream these more. So maybe for like every day for the next, I don't know, few days, I'll just at four o'clock, I'll, I'll live stream, uh, Back to the Future. Such a good game. I'm so excited. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.